Hare Krishna. I welcome all of you for the Thursday Instagram live on Folk Life. Today is absolutely incredible kid day. When I was thinking and contemplating on what I should speak on Thursday, I just searched the internet and I came to know that today is absolutely incredible kid day. I thought let me speak something about it. And before we start about this in absolutely incredible kids or their day we will take the blessings of the spiritual master and krishna krishna and we'll start our talk namo om vishnu padaya krishna prashtaya bhutale shrimate bhakti vedanta swamin niti namine namaste saraswate deve gauravani pracharine nirvishesha shunyavadi paschat deshatarine jaya shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadara shri vasadi gaur bhakta vrinda hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare and a year ago i went to my hometown kerala near kannur talsheri i met my nephew he was incredibly intelligent he is incredibly intelligent very sharp i just pondered what i would have been doing as a kid at the age of 6 or 7 and i started interacting with neighboring kids the amount of energy the amount of enthusiasm the amo- amount of uh, fire what they have is really incredible they learn things quickly swiftly and adopt things very faster and they are very sharp intellectually they pick up things like this they play on smartphones and they have lot of questions they are quite inquisitive when i met him i had an interaction with him he was asking me lot of questions and i was trying my best to answer to these questions to my best possible way and he tried to grasp it too this makes the point of my session is the ability to ask question as a kid is very infectious when we are born we just cry and we don't know to speak we express ourselves to our parents by our gestures by our crying by our smile and they inspire and motivate help us to talk beta amma bolo beta appa bolo mummy bolo etc etc he is your father he is your mother she is more etc etc then when the child starts speaking and he has hell lot of questions he harasses his mother with his questions he troubles his father with his questions and the mother is pissed off and she tells go and ask your father and father is busy with his tv or newspaper or to so called talks with his friends and he gets disturbed by his unnecessary childish questions and he is also uh, disturbed with his uh, Uh, child's questions and he says some of other he we have to get rid of him and put him into school the child is inquisitive is incredibly intelligent and smart he wants to know how things are happening who is he what are things these things around him lot of a critical mind yes god generally by and large exceptions are always there and he is put into school and he is made to learn or go through a meticulous tedious uh, boring a uh, school syllabus what we have it and there also he has an appetite he has a inclination and an interest to ask questions and the teacher generally tells exam mein aayega beta pad lena the inquisitiveness goes to peak uh, when we take up science and we start thinking about it uh, but some of the other the questions what we have the answers are not to the satisfaction even the science it starts with assume consider imagine let and theory i started wondering after coming to krishna consciousness of obviously how this can be science so the incredibility of a kid is judged in general by his ability to question rationally and understand the purpose of life 
that's why uh, the great child devotee prahlad maharaj in shrimad bhagavatam fifth canto sorry not in the fifth canto in the later cantos eighth canto if i re- trust my memory there he says kaumaram achrut pragno we should start this journey of inquisitiveness about the absolute truth about the things around about the life from the age of 5 aristotle was asked by a lady sir my son is already 6 years old what time or at what age should he be admitted to school for his education you know what aristotle said rush lady rush you are already 6 years late you are already 6 years late that is the nature or interest or inclination or the time where the child has to be taught things what he has to learn but unfortunately uh, thanks to our culture thanks to our upbringing thanks to our ecosystem what we have developed today not only in india all across the globe the kids are not able to get this knowledge okay so let us go to that incredible kid it's not, i'm not just talking about kids alone when i say kids it's all human beings who got this developed intelligence that's what the sh- scriptures mention ahara uh, nidra sleeping eating mating and defending ahara nidra bhaya maitona samanya these four activities are common among human beings and as well as any now how do we discriminate or differentiate between human beings and animals dharma hu eco adiko visheshu dharma or religion is a special prerogative of human beings that is unique to human beings minus this dharma minus this religion human being is as good as animal dharma hina pashubir narana without religion or dharma person human being is as good as animals so the absolutely incredible kid day would be uh, <laughs> in that sense be celebrated or should be appreciated provide the incredibility ness of the human form of nature is appreciated or encouraged that human form of life begins when this basic fundamental inquiry about the absolute truth who is that absolute truth who is he what does he do what is my relationship with him why am i suffering what happens after death why should i die in first place why am i suffering all this constitute the basic fundamental inquiry which a human being should do unfortunately neither the kids nor the parents nor the government nor the whole society is interested to know these things they are basically satisfied with this basic questions about food sleep sex life and how to defend themselves but scriptures inform us there is much more important than that that is a spiritual life so another kid who is, was responsible because of this incredible uh, absolutely intimate kid day the first thing which i come it, which came to my mind was about kalad maharaj obviously and dhruv maharaj both this uh, devotee kids as exemplified from their childhood how one should perform devotional service right from the beginning as all of us during our childhood we were all ambitious we always want to get uh, better in life whether it is schooling or numbers or sports or academics or extra curricular activities we want to be the number one just like dhruv maharaj he also wanted to be number one for some reasons he wanted to have a kingdom better than his father or grandfather some of the other uh, he had a, a devotee mother that devotee mother was asked by dhruv maharaj when his father insulted uh, him when his step mother insulted uh, him for some reason that he was not allowed to sit on his loving father's lap and that made him furious and he went to his mother and asked this question why why is hap- this happening to me that mother said i can't help your father loves your step mother more than me and what can be done and the insult was so severe the step mother told dhruv maharaj if at all if you have to sit on your father's lap you should have the privilege or fortune of taking birth 
in my womb. Mean to say, you should die and then take birth in my womb again. And this five years old boy, so infuriated by the insulting words of his stepmother, he rushed towards his mother and asked, I can't tolerate this. I want to do it better. I want to have a kingdom better than my father or grandfather who can help me for this. Mother, ideally, she said, only the Supreme Lord Narayana can help you. And the Supreme Lord Narayana, where is he? I want to meet him. I want to ask him. Now, I don't know my child. Generally, people approach, they go to the forest in search of the absolute truth. They spend years together to realize him and find him. So this was there in his mind. And he was contemplating on this for a long time. And before it, it turned to be too long, he just left his palace at the age of five, looking for that absolute truth who can satisfy him. And he was wandering in the forest, looking for that personality. He used to ask, where is God? Where is God? Where is God? And looking at this kid, Paramatma in the heart inspired the spiritual master. Narada Muni appeared to the scene and said, My dear son, uh, what are you looking for? He said, I am looking for God. Can you tell me his name, his address, the way to get to him? Then Narada Muni uh, distracts him and tells him, You are just a child. You are 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 a we just go back and uh, be with your parents. They will be worried. I said, no, nothing doing. I am not going home. You tell me where to go. No, this is a very dense forest. Ferocious animals are there. They may come and eat you and finish you off. I don't care. I want to approach God. This is the absoluteness of a devotee. He wants to know the absolute truth in reality. Looking at his determination and fire to know the truth, the reality as a kid, for a of, of his ulterior motive of to have a kingdom or a material prosperity better than his grandfather or father, Nardamani being compassionate, inspired by the Lord, Narayana instructed him, initiated him with the mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva. And he chanted for six months. And that kind of austerity he does, none of us can do. Even the greatest of yogis would find it difficult to perform. But this kid, because he was determined and he followed the instruction of his spiritual master, within six months he could see Krishna face to face. Lord Narayana came to meet him face to face. But when he saw him, that is the beauty of his bhakti. When he saw this beautiful form of Narayana, Shanta Chakra Gada Padamma, Vaijanti Mala, Tostuba Jewel, the beautiful lotus feet and uh, shark like earrings and lotus eyes and lotus face and all this incredible uh, looking beautiful, gorgeous, uh, beautiful form of, of the Lord, he was completely uh, flabbergasted. He was just thrilled and he wanted to offer beautiful prayers and glorification of the Lord, but he couldn't utter a word. He couldn't murmur at the sloka, looking at the uh, condition of Thru Maharaj, Narayana uh, blessed him with his uh, head and through his conch shell and he started narrating beautiful prayers and glorification of devotees, Vishnu, devotional service. And, and one uh, prayer which he uh, shares, Kachinna Pidivya Ratnam, it translates into this, I was looking for some glass pieces, pebbles. Apidivviratnam, I got most valuable diamond. What else do I want? But even though he didn't want what he wanted, after seeing the Lord Supreme face to face, the Lord being very merciful, he blessed him with all the opulences what he wanted. In fact, more than he wanted. In fact, you know who is his grandfather? Brahma himself. He wanted a... <laughs> planet, he wanted a universe better than the, the uh, planet of his grandfather. Huh? Brahma, he gave him personally the Vaikuntha planet. So basically, absolute incredible kid means one has to become devotee of the Lord. Whether it is Prahlad Maharaj, not everyone has a privilege of having a mother like uh, uh, Dhruva Maharaj. So much so that the mother uh, was instrumental for him to approach Narada and then to Supreme Lord, then to go back to back home, back to God. And when he was in Badrika Ashram and he had perfected his life in devotional service, Dhruva Maharaj was taken by the four Vaikuntha Dutas on, his, on the aeroplane back home. While he was traversing back to Vaikuntha, suddenly he remembered and recollected, Yara, main aaj ja raha hon, main wapas ja raha hon, Bhagawan ke paas ja raha hon. Isli, kis, who is responsible for this? Kaun hai karan is ke liye? My mother, she is my Vartama Pradakshaka Guru, who brought me into Krishna consciousness. What about her? 
and suddenly he looked up up there and mother was calling hurry bol hurry bol dhruv i'm here and there was another set of airplane which was uh, uh, taking mother uh, back home back to garden so that is a son so a in absolutely incredible kid should be a devotee of lord narayan devotee of lord krishna who is who becomes a perfectly absolute devotee by chanting 16 rounds of hare krishna mahamantra so that we can take our mothers back home back to god not only be our perfect ourselves of course we all have to chant 16 rounds of hare krishna mahamantra every single day follow the four regulations no intoxication no illicit sex no gambling and that will make us fit not only to go back to god and i'll also deliver our parents especially mother to go back home back to god once you reach that abode of the supreme lord where there's no death there is no old age there's no diseases all the problems are solved you are eternally with the lord because you are anshas of the lord you are we ask krishna says mama i am shojiva lok jiva put sanatana we go back to him and we eternally serve him happily that is the purpose and goal of life which every single incredible absolutely incredible kid should know and should perform but majority of them may not have mother like that who will inspire him us or kid to approach god or go back, go to forest or you know look about the personality of god and we, we may be having uh, difficulties at our home practicing krishna conscious would be a challenge but nevertheless taking inspiration from pralad mara in spite of all challenge in spite of all obstacles in spite of all the difficulties which he was put into for just being a devotee hiranakashipu the um, demon father asura varya uh, he tolerated all these things we should learn from him he was put into pit of snakes he was thrown from the cliff he was uh, smashed by the elephant under its legs he was put into boiling oil he was thrown from a cliff so many atrocities was done against him but he was unshaken unmoved because he was constantly consistently repeatedly on a daily basis chanting the names of the lord and depending on him mare krishna rakhe ke rakhe krishna mare he was firm believer of this if krishna wants to kill me who can who can who can who can uh, who can protect me on the contrary agar bhagwan mere ko protect karna chahte hai who can kill me yeah? and if krishna wants to protect me who can kill me if i krishna want to protect me who can kill me what why so sir that is the belief and firm faith he had he traverses that path of devotion and he gives this incredible message of uh, devotional service in shivat bhagavatam which is one of the mahajana acharya for us so following in his footsteps in kaliyuga practicing of krishna consciousness for a kid or for us kid mean the sense we all human beings it's quite difficult but we have to be serious those who are hearing me those who are connected with the hare krishna movement hare krishna mandir so we are all fortunate we are all privileged we have a spiritual master like prabhupad we have a path very clear distinctly perfectly and talked out by our spiritual master and the process is very easy one has to chant 16 rounds of hare krishna mahamantra every day follow the simple principles have prasadam associate with devotees what are devotional service you can do and do it and contribute in the form of artha diya vacha and prana and make our life successful so this is what i wanted to share that on this uh, day you know we should uh, become serious in our spiritual life take inspiration from pralad maharaj take inspiration from uh, dhruv maharaj and another kid i was just wanted to share about this particular little kid is about a little baby saraswati she was daughter of shyamsundar prabhu and she was the first uh, baby in the world by the hare krishna movement and prabhupad often used to quote her uh, Uh, examples while preaching krishna consciousness once uh, saraswati uh, were, had was playing with krishna uh, doll krishna and uh, shila prabhupada took the doll krishna and hid himself and uh, saraswati baby was anxious where is krishna where is krishna she was frantically searching everywhere and finally she uh, figured out that uh, swami prabhupada has uh, krishna with him and he, she approached uh, Swami Prabhupada and asking for Krishna, and Prabhupada was talking to guest there. She look at her. Saraswati is looking for Krishna. She is anxious for Krishna. This is the consciousness of the Goswamis. As a child, we can get this consciousness if the parents are Krishna conscious. Even otherwise also, because their parents were disciples of Prabhupada, they, the child becomes Krishna conscious. Another instance is uh, the child 
baby saraswati had such an impact on krishna consciousness of krishna consciousness that she used to boldly preach the message of krishna consciousness there was a, a kid a boy who was little unhappy with her practices of krishna consciousness she he said to her what you are doing whole day chanting hare krishna and she he started criticizing her. and saraswati was so furious she slapped him she argued with him and no you know that's how the kids they do it she was so convinced convinced as a child so that's what uh, uh, incredible absolutely incredible kid means to practice krishna consciousness from the right beginning but doesn't matter we kids we grown up 18 plus 20 plus now still by the mercy of guru and krishna we have got the same advantage as the advantage saraswati had being born in a family of devotees so that's the privilege of uh, shila prabhupan he has institutionalized uh, Uh, the devotional practices in this institution anyone who comes in touch with this institution this organization and tends the path which swami prabhupad uh, uh, narrates or shares or recommends will easily go back home back to god and make their life perfect and know the absolute truth and that is the nature of the absolutely incredible kid who knows the nature of the absolute truth that krishna is a person and devotional service to him is the topmost uh, perfection of life